Hi everyone, welcome to my channel Microbiology with Summi. If you like my video, please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Today's topic is Basics of Medical Microbiology. Let's start with Introduction to Medical Microbiology. Now, Medical Microbiology is generally concerned with studying the relationships between parasite and host. Now host may be plant, human beings and animals. Now here we are concerned about human beings. In our day to day life, human beings are exposed to microorganisms. Various interactions are carried out. Now this interaction between human beings and microorganisms may be useful as well as it may be harmful. Now the interaction in which microbes are benefited and humans are harmed is called as parasitism. Now all these terms come under medical microbiology. This was a short introduction of medical microbiology. In this video, I will be explaining you some basic concepts that are used in medical microbiology. So let's start with it. First one is infection. Infection is invasion and multiplication of bacteria, viruses and parasites in a host body and thus it leads to infection. Generally, infection is caused due to failure of host defense mechanism. Now generally what happens whenever a bacteria, a parasite or a virus enters in our body, our immune system fights against that pathogenic organism and when our immune system, our host defense mechanism fails then only the bacteria localize and multiply in our body and which leads to infection. Second is disease. The disease is a result of infection. So the infection, uh, the infection further leads the disease. If the disease is established it disturbs the normal functioning of body and results in signs and symptoms. These pathogens not only multiply in the host but also releases some byproducts. Now, these byproducts may be toxic or non toxic to the host. And the third one is etiological agent. Now, etiological agent may be the causative agent of a disease, means the bacteria, pathogen, or the viruses may be the etiological agents which are responsible for the disease. It may be an opportunistic pathogen means it is already opportunistic pathogens mean what uh, the pathogen is already present in our body but whenever it gets an opportunity then only it causes the disease this is called as opportunistic pathogen Fourth one is pathogen pathogen may be defined as an organism that has an ability to cause a disease so simply organism that causes disease is called as a pathogen the pathogen first enter in a host body causes infection and then it results in disease so it goes in a manner first of all the pathogen enters in a body there it localize it multiplies it causes infection and the infection finally results into a disease Fifth one is fomites. Fomites are not harmful objects, but they play an important role in transmission of pathogens. Now, fomites may be dust particles, water particles, dew drops, anything which are able to transport these pathogens. Okay. The sixth one is pathogenicity. Pathogenicity is the ability of a pathogen to cause disease. Virulence. Virulence is a degree of pathogenicity of pathogen. The eighth one is incubation period. Now incubation period is a time taken by organism to cause a disease and show its symptoms. That is the time between infection and appearance of signs and symptoms. So first infection appears then disease cause and further this disease results in sign and symptoms. So the time between infection and appearance of sign and symptoms is called as a incubation period. The ninth one is morbidity rate. 
Now morbidity is a ratio of number of people that are suffering from a disease to a total population. It is expressed in percentage. That is morbidity rate is equal to number of people suffering from a disease from total population. So suppose a total population is of 1000 people. So the percentage is removed from 1000 people how many people are suffering from that disease and that is called as morbidity rate. The tenth is mortality rate. The mortality rate is a ratio of number of fatalities due to disease of total population means it is simply the death rate of people. The people that have died through that disease is called as mortality rate. So mortality is equal to number of fatalities from total population. The next one is opportunistic pathogen. Opportunistic pathogen is an organism that is a part of normal body flora. It is harmless but under certain condition the organism becomes pathogenic in nature. So as I told you before it is present in a body normally but under certain conditions the organism become pathogenic and it causes disease. Prophylaxis. Prophylaxis is prevention of a disease. Thirteenth is carrier. Carrier are the infected host that carries the pathogen without showing any signs and symptoms. Carriers play important role in the transmission of disease. So here carrier are the human beings which have the pathogen in the body but they are not suffering from any kind of a disease. They don't show any signs and symptoms but they carry this pathogen and is an important source of transmission of the disease. The 14th is antigen. The antigen is an agent which induces the immune system to form antibodies. The antigen may be a microbial cell or its byproduct. So antigen is simply a microbial cell or a part of a microbial cell which induces immune system to form antibodies. The 15th is antibody. The antibody is a glycoprotein molecule produced in response to antigen. It is an immunoglobulin produced due to sensitization of immune system by antigen. So here sim in simple words antibodies are produced due to sensitization of immune system by antigen. Now vaccine, it is an antigenic preparation which is induced in host body for developing immune response when a pathogen or its toxin enters the host body. And the last one is immunity. Immunity can be defined by as a resistance shown by a host body against the disease. So the manner in which a host body defends itself, it resists against the disease is called as immunity thank you for watching my video if you like my video please like share and subscribe to my channel